The sea of referendum campaign posters that drape city skylines all across the country is impossible to miss. Also noticeable, the many posters supporting the Turkish president and the Yes campaign, granting broad new powers. Those who oppose have focused their efforts on areas governed by two of Turkey's main political parties, which are against the constitutional changes proposed by the ruling AKP. Here in the Istanbul opposition-run neighborhood of Beşiktaş, no campaign advertising is clearly dominant. Yet many argue that the playing field ahead of this vote is far from level. This mobile phone footage purportedly shows supporters of the president attacking a no campaign vehicle in an AKP dominant neighborhood of Istanbul. When we go to certain neighborhoods, a large crowd of people surround our car and they are tossing stones. We are owned by the people, but we are under serious pressure by the present government and its supporters. Last month, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe identified attempts to intimidate no campaigners ahead of Turkey's referendum, noting the campaign has been unfair. We are trying to produce our banners with the money that people give us. I hang them at 1 o'clock and they disappear two hours later. They are collecting our banners. We have used cameras to record it. We have made criminal complaints, but nothing is ever done. No voters have also expressed efforts to intimidate them. Some campaign posters, as well as President Recep Tayyip Erdogan himself, have accused naysayers of being on that same side as ISIL, the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, the PKK, and supporting Fethullah Gulen, the alleged mastermind of last year's coup attempt in Turkey. More than 100,000 people, including police, judges and teachers, have been removed from their positions on terrorism charges under the country's current state of emergency, creating fear that a similar fate awaits those wanting to vote against the referendum. Meanwhile, the Yes camp has also complained of voter intimidation. In one instance, social media footage shows armed individuals raiding an Istanbul coffee house and threatening people if they do not back the referendum. Natalie Carney, CGTN, in Istanbul, Turkey.